from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, June the 4th, 2019. We open with the passing of Nechama Rivlin, the beloved wife of Israel's President Reuven Rivlin, who died this morning three months after receiving a lung transplant. The First Lady for years suffered from pulmonary fibrosis. Nechama Rivlin is being mourned across the political spectrum in Israel, remembered for her kindness and generosity, her wisdom and her gentle nature. Rivlin was a researcher for decades in the field of zoology at Hebrew University before retiring in 2007. When she moved to the president's residence in Jerusalem in 2014, she devoted her time and efforts to the areas of art and nature, working in particular with children with special needs. The residents lowered its flags today in her memory and said that all of her work was done with compassion and the love of people. President Rivlin posted a photo of his wife today with the simple words, My Nechama. Nechama Rivlin will lie in state today and will be laid to rest tomorrow at Mount Herzl in Jerusalem. She died one day short of her 74th birthday, survived by her husband, three children, and seven grandchildren. Arson balloons sent over the border fence from Gaza into southern Israel sparked three brush fires in the Eshkol Regional Council area today. They are now said to be under control. And despite such devices being launched from Gaza, the IDF today once again extended the Gaza fishing zone to 15 nautical miles after a reduction last week to 10 nautical miles over similar incidents. Israel police arrested an IDF soldier who was caught on camera while off duty, setting a Palestinian field in the West Bank on fire. The Times of Israel said the soldier was detained last night. The IDF, together with Israel police, are conducting the investigation. Senior White House advisor Jared Kushner is meeting with officials in Europe today to discuss the situation in the Middle East and specifically the U.S. peace plan for Israel and the Palestinians. Kushner was scheduled to meet with European Commission Chief Jean-Claude Juncker in Brussels today, as well as with European Union Foreign Policy Chief Federica Mogherini. A bipartisan Congressional Caucus on Black-Jewish Relations was launched yesterday at the American Jewish Committee's Global Forum in Washington. The caucus is made up of three black members of the House of Representatives, Michigan Democrat Brenda Lawrence, Texas Republican Will Hurd, and veteran civil rights leader Georgia Democrat John Lewis. The two Jewish representatives are New York Republican Lee Zeldin and Florida Democrat Debbie Wasserman Schultz. The group hopes to bring blacks and Jews together to support legislation that fight hate crimes and to battle white supremacist ideology and actions. Lauren said the African-American and Jewish communities have a history of standing together for the promotion of social justice and civil rights. Zeldin wrote on Twitter from the 761st Tank Battalion helping to liberate Jungershin in May of 1945 to Jews standing shoulder to shoulder with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. during the Civil Rights Movement, our communities are stronger together, looking out for each other and fighting alongside one another. Wasserman Schultz tweeted, white supremacy threatens both our communities and the caucus will build on our common fight for a better world. The U.S. Department of Education is investigating Williams College for its student council's refusal this past April to give pro-Israel group Williams Initiative for Israel official status. The College Fix today reported that George Mason University law professor David Bernstein filed a complaint alleging that the student government violated a section of the Civil Rights Act, which prohibits discrimination on the basis of race, color, or national origin, including shared ancestry or ethnic characteristics. The complaint against Williams also cites the official status given to Students for Justice in Palestine, saying that clearly the council has no policy against recognizing student groups that take positions on foreign affairs. The pro-Israel group was ultimately recognized by Williams through an alternate process several weeks ago, bypassing the Student Council. The investigation, which is being conducted by the Department of Education's Office for Civil Rights in Boston, continues. 
Well, Israeli researchers at Sheba Medical Center at Tel HaShomer Hospital unveiled a new drug to treat a specific type of pancreatic cancer. The cancer therapy drug was developed in partnership with British-Swedish pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca and American giant Merck, offering potential hope delaying the progression of the disease. The head of Sheba's Pancreatic Cancer Center, Dr. Talia Golan, discussed the type of pancreatic cancer being targeted by the drug's clinical trials. Um, in the study, those were the patient population that we, um, that we treated. Furthermore, they have to have a specific germline mutation, which is the, the BRCA gene, um, BRCA1 or 2. Um, and if you have uh, BRCA-associated pancreatic cancer, then you will be eligible for this trial. And what we've shown is that um, this drug has shown um, efficacy and a tremendous, uh, a really phenomenal response in this patient population. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, June the 4th, our special programming continues remembering the Six-Day War, including at 7, an in-depth look at the history of the Israeli-Arab conflict. At 8, New York Times columnist Brett Stevens and Israeli author Yossi Klein Halevi discuss the 1967 war and their personal connections to Israel. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with former Israeli U.S. Ambassador Dani Ayalon, who recalls being a young boy in the harrowing days preceding the war and its impact on Israel today. At 10, culinary journalist and TV personality Gil Chovab talks about food in the time of the war. And coming up right after this newscast, it's Insight to Israel. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, June the 4th, 2019. I'm Tisha Bader.